Rose, what are you doing up? I can't sleep. I keep having nightmares about the banquet. Oh, uh, what kind of nightmares? I'm... Dorothy Rose, talk to me. You girls have got to believe me. We believed you once, Blanche. We're not falling for it again. Falling for what? I told you the truth. Oh, Blanche, come off it. You really expect us to believe that Gil was... <laughs> Here we are. Oh, oh, I love your home. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, well, honey, tell me, how's your modeling career been going? Well, to be honest, Mama, not too well lately. Mm. What have you been doing? You mean besides eating? I don't want to go out with you. But we shook on it and everything. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'll go out with you. Instead of her, I go out with you? Right. Okay. <laughs> again, Blanche. And who have we here? Hello, I'm Susan Dodd. Well, I'm Clayton Blanche. Who are you? Just ask the damn favor. Dorothy, I need your help tonight for a charity. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I have a date. You call that a date? Thyroid Freddy? His eyes bug right out of his head. He looks like he's being choked. Now, stop it. Freddy is a fine man. You know, when he was younger, he could have been an... Don't listen to her, Blanche. You grow a beard, Dorothy. Believe me, I woke up one morning, I looked like Arafat. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never grew a beard. You never grew brains, either. <laughs> well, I'll tell you... There is one thing I think you should both do right away. Inform the police. Oh, forget it. The reason these confidence men don't get caught is because people are embarrassed to come forward and admit they were conned. I'm sorry, Rose, I just can't. Well, perhaps this little story might make you change your mind. <laughs> Whoa! You're getting better all the time. Whoa! You know, with those two hits in last night's game, your batting average is up over 300 now. Yeah, but on that last swing, I, I think I tore my camisole. <laughs> well, why don't we head to... I'm Mr. Fix-It. Here to please. No problem. Too big or too small. This is great. It's better than Vaudeville. <laughs> well, I'm all yours, ladies. Just lead me to the trouble. There's nothing I can't fix. Except maybe this old noggin. That could use a little rewiring. <laughs> well, let's go. Come on, some questions, and you better have the right answers. <laughs> Things like, who do you like better, me or Hitler? <laughs> Who's got the snappiest boots, me or Hitler? <laughs> Who's got the cuter girlfriend, me or Hitler? And you always had to answer Mussolini. Otherwise, they forced you to play the lightning bully crank and threw his limp body in the river. That's a Sicily you don't see on postcards. The kids said she'd kill anyone who even stepped on her property. We used to call her Mean Old Lady Hickenlooper. Yeah, kids can be pretty cruel. No, that was her name, Mean Old Lady Hickenlooper. <laughs> she had to change legally because everybody called her that. Anyway. <laughs> then how come your name isn't Big Dummy? This stuff sounds a little better when you've got lapel and the best. <laughs> anyway, my clients are charged with trespass but the only real crime they committed was their overzealous championing of the defenseless dolphin and however you answer I'll believe you did you tell John Noretti to go away the night of my senior prom because you didn't like the way he was dressed well liar <laughs> You knew John showed up that night and you didn't tell me and you did Dressed to the jockey's lounge, but you don't want to date a jockey. The sex is over too fast and afterwards the only nice thing they have to say to you is good girl, good girl. <laughs> Sophia, I've decided to be as happy with Harry in the same way as I was with him. He knows, Blanche, he knows. Your thoughts and feelings go right to him. 
You can communicate directly from your heart, can't you, Dorothy? No, don't ask me. I can't get through to New Jersey with MCI. <laughs> Oh, I remember the first time I ever saw the ocean. It was on my honeymoon. My husband, Charlie, and I drove from Minnesota to New York. Well, actually, we were driving to California. <laughs> we were young and in love, and I was blowing in Charlie's ear. He lost his sense of direction on the turnpike. <laughs> Here's a good idea, Blanche. If you really want to be safe, why don't you let us come with you? Okay, you can all come, but you have to promise me you won't do anything to embarrass me. I promise. Oh, I promise. I'll try, but if they serve me cauliflower, it's in God's hands. <laughs> Then she took them. I mean, deceit, then theft. Isn't murder the next logical step? St. Olaf, right? Face it, Dorothy, Blanche was discovered in a locked room. Only she and the victim had keys. I mean, give me another explanation. The trouble is pressure. They sleep to escape. Dorothy's father used to do that. Unfortunately, it was usually during foreplay. <laughs> Now the man is dead. Longer than you think. <laughs> we'll start first with Blanche from the Green Team. Blanche, show us your stuff. You first, Mr. Game Show Host. Blanche, spin the wheel. <laughs> You are landing on... Ah! Now that I'm better, why do you still scream and holler at me? <laughs> I'm not sure what was best for you is, is best for Lily. Look, you didn't ask for my opinion, but I'm old, so I'm giving it anyway. You want to help your sister? Help her to help herself. So I hear we only get you for three days. Well, that depends. On what? On how my mother feels about my having the baby in Miami. Here? So close to Cuba? <laughs> well, I thought I could do it alone, but now that it's almost time... I'm about the same thing. I'm not going. Why? Don't faint, but you were right when you said I should go out and make new friends. So, uh, I took your advice. I met some nice people at the center, and this weekend we're all going to Cancun. Looks like uh, you and what's-his-name will have to go to the Bahamas without me. You just met the... Well, I think we spent too much money. Oh, stop worrying about the money. You were talking about love. I still think we spent too much. You didn't spend it. The yachts spent it. <laughs> That's what makes him a yachts. <laughs> so he is dry. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Ma. Ma, I think you better sit down. Come on. Over a trapeze. Now, excuse me. Did you know that the guy who wrote Silent Night was also the original choice for Potsy on Happy Days? <laughs> the mighty have fallen. Oh. This place is always filled with such nice people. Years ago when I, you know, had... Slow down, you yuts! You're going right past her! <laughs> but he didn't hear. And that's why today, Rose, there's an unusually large Italian population in Spillsbury, Massachusetts. <laughs> that's a really moving story, Sophia. But what exactly is the point? The point? And you don't. <laughs> Your Saturday night kid stuff. Get lucky on a Tuesday morning, then call me. I guess I'm just not attracted to crossing guards. <laughs> Dorothy, a guy sets a folding chair up in front of my house. I want to know more. Starting Tuesday, and Blanche is busy with her granddaughter, and Rose is... Well, I think a nurse is the way. <laughs> I don't need a nurse. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Oh, really? Then why have you been running me ragged doing things for you? Honestly, it tickles me. <laughs> Look, Ma, I'm hiring... You're going to come with us, but you have to be prepared. Now, I'm going to go by the school library and pick up some old yearbooks. We have to know all the basics, you know, like, oh, senior class president, quarterback of the football team, class slut. Blanche, how do you tell a slut from a yearbook? Oh, uh, how do you tell a slut from a yearbook? Terrific. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Goodbye and thank you.
Don't count on that job, Dorothy. Many women have had their hopes dashed by smooth-talking TV sharpies. Dave Garraway told me if I treated him right, I'd be his sidekick on the Today <laughs> Well, I'm leaving. I found a compatible roommate. <laughs> Here's my new address and phone number. Oh, come on, Ma, you're joking. <sighs> it's no joke. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci and sayonara. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Seems you had a transfusion while you were there. The hospital thinks the blood may have contained HIV antibodies. HIV? Wait a minute. You're talking about AIDS. Oh, well, that... You think about it, don't you? That's it. What's wrong with her? Malcolm kissed her. My God, she's in shock. <laughs> he gave me flowers from a store. <laughs> Ladies, good morning. We go on in about 10 seconds. Oh. Just relax and have a fun show. Oh. Thanks to Rose, but I'm glad she wasn't here when I dropped by today. Well, Rose, what a sweet thing to say. That must be why I date more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant what I said about that diet of yours. Men of our generation like a little meat on their women. <laughs> Maybe uh, you don't want to pinch an inch, but I do. Boop, boop, milk, 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 milk. <laughs> See it? Box 1990, Newcastle, Louisiana. Got it. Glad I could help. Bye-bye. Hey, Dorothy, Blanche is taking me to the mall. You want to come? Uh, I don't think so. Much. Oh, honey, come on. You're not teaching today. It'll be fun. No, I think I'd just rather sit here and read. Be you. Oh, but Dorothy, you don't get it. Oh. My accountant reminded me that I've been audited before and I've never had to pay a penny in back taxes. I have a way with auditors. The last time I was audited, I got money back from the government. <laughs> Blanche, it's not a refund when the auditor leaves two twenties. I... Could I have a word with you just a minute? Of course, Blanche. Listen, I've been talking to those other two contestants over there, the Kaplan brothers, and I have learned some very interesting things. <laughs> Number one, they have won over $40,000 in cash and prizes on various game shows. Dorothy, I think you and I should team up with them. Oh, Blanche, that's impossible. That would mean dumping. Am I interrupting? I sincerely hope so. <laughs> Blanche, I thought you had a date. Oh, I canceled. He was just a nice man with a big boat who wanted to go to Bimini. That sounds like hell. I don't know. I'm just not ready to start up something with someone new. I think it's because you miss Stephen. <laughs> I guess you don't feel like sorting Kabirdi Barton now. <laughs> that Soren Kierkegaard. <laughs> I got her to say it again. <laughs> Oh, go to Trollope. Everybody, grab a rock. Just walked in. David! David! Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have a winner. Couple number 29. That's me. I won. I won. I won. I won. Just a minute. It's not over yet. It looks like we have another round. No. With who? <laughs> Everyone. Huh. Serves you right. Blanche! Well, it does. What goes around comes around. Well, then I must have been really bad. What do you mean? Hey, ladies, you're just gonna have to wait this one out. Now, drink plenty of liquids, get lots of rest, and if you're not better by Monday, give me a call. Oh, I can't believe it. If modern science can come up with cinnamon dental floss, why can't they cure the flu? <laughs> modern science is overrated. Sometimes... Well, think about it. I will. I mean, this is something to think about. Okay, let's go. Oh, God, this is going to be awful. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, you meet the mother, it gives you a pretty good idea what the daughter is going to look like in 30 years. <laughs> Only if you lock me in the dryer. I put my skates on the wrong feet. Oh. <laughs> Sonia Henderfinkins. <laughs> morning, Al. Oh, morning, Al. Oh, Rose, for God's sake. You look like a giant elf. <laughs> Can I borrow that sometime? <laughs> oh, wonderful that they became so close between the airport and here. <laughs> I 
hardly ever speak to my cab drivers. <laughs> Rose, Doug is not a cab driver. Uh, no, ma'am. Actually, I'm a policeman. Oh! Well, what's a policeman doing bringing fares from the airport? I mean, even if it costs us a thousand dollars, we'll still have nine thousand left. Yeah, but don't start that high. We might be able to get it for a couple of hundred. We'll start at one hundred and see how it goes. Okay. And now, may I have an opening bid, please? Ten thousand. <laughs> Excuse is that it makes no difference at all in her life. It is just a concept. It is not based on reality. That will cheer her up. Nothing will cheer me up. It has rained on my parade. Hello. Oh, Dr. Parks, come right in. Who is that? The vet. Uh, Dr. Parks, I don't believe you've met uh, Blanche. Well, no, he has not, because I certainly would remember it if he had. Well, I want to thank Who comes up with the best new song about the city of Miami? $10,000? That's right. I'm going to enter. Of oh, you? Well, Dorothy, I happen to have written songs before. I wrote the fight song for our high school. Onward, St. Olaf, they still sing it. <laughs> onward, St. Olaf, onward we go. Onward and on. Oh, Michael gave me that. <laughs> Let's go. I can't believe it. Uh, A grandchild. Little Roger. Roger? <laughs> what do you want him to be? A choreographer? It's Lamar. <laughs> but now you're here in front of me and you can't run away. And I finally get to have what you tried to cheat me out of. I finally get to say goodbye, Stanley. Look, Dorothy, we... I said goodbye, Stanley. So, Butch, Sundance? <laughs> to throw the bouquet. <laughs> the guy from the ad will be here any second. How do I look? <laughs> Ma, you forgot to zip up your dress. I didn't forget. He's probably got arthritis. Why make it any harder? <laughs> That's him. Good morning, when I leave the house, I see this bag lady going through the garbage over on 135th Street. She has everything she owns piled in one of those old shopping carts. Well, the other day, for the first time, I noticed she's about our age. Down memory lane. I'd taken in some sewing. It was a couple weeks before Easter. <laughs> I'm home. I'll call the New York Times. <laughs> What's for dinner? Pierre is writing today's selection. <laughs> yeah, but in those days, it, it really stood out, you know? Oh, I don't know. It must have taken three months before I could muster up the courage, to, you know, to talk to Mrs. Lenoff. And it turned out to be the smartest thing I could have done. Because not only did she help me, you know, with the speech problem, she was the one who inspired me to go into the teaching profession. Nice. Miami is nice. Miami is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You put in an extra Miami is nice. I had to. It hurts the music if you don't put it in. Yeah, but the lyrics don't make any sense. I mean, it goes, Miami is nice. So I'll say it twice. Stop all liquids at noon, and I still wake up. I never have that problem. Never. I sleep like a log. I never get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. I go in the morning. Every morning, like clockwork, at 7 a.m., I pee. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't wake up till 8. I'll tell you what, why don't we spend tomorrow afternoon together? We'll work on our bonding. I'll take you to Wolfie's for an egg cream. A chocolate egg cream? You betcha. <laughs> oh, boy, a chocolate egg cream. <laughs> Forget it, Dorothy. <laughs> I smell a pony ride. <laughs> oh, so many other women he took advantage of. <laughs> Ladies, I can explain, but now is not the time. I will tell you what time it is. Time for a hanging. Somebody get me a robe. <laughs> And a tree from props! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, let me speak. Er, I am so fed up with all of these people, I'm just ready to give up. Dorothy, you can't give up. You're no quitter. 
Why, just think of the many times you have been dumped by a man. <laughs> Did you quit dating? No, ma'am. You sank even lower, scraping the bottom of the barrel, facing so... Uh, let's eat. I brought you your favorite. Oh, you're such a sweetheart, uh, Chinese. No, Italian. <clears throat> Look, there's been no change on the Petrillo case. We are very busy. We'll call when we can. Yeah, listen, buddy. Sophia may be just another case. The minute they all entered high school, I told everybody they were my husbands from a previous marriage. You wonder why they're in therapy. Therapy? Maybe I should go into therapy. At 2 in the morning, waiting for George to come home, I called a radio talk show. I gave them the solution to the crisis. Picking out unusual gifts. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it terry cloth? Uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I think it is. Terry cloth wears a long time. It's a nice fabric. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> perfect for a robe. Mm. <laughs> well, I... Uh... Work, Doyle. Why? Because the man is blind. Now, would the two of you please keep your noses out of my business? Don't you know something when it comes to other people? You're the one who's blind. Boss, exactly what I paid for the one I ordered. They made a mistake. They charged me for the inexpensive bed. Merry Christmas from Neiman Marcus. <laughs> Sophia, she can't keep that bed. That'd be like stealing. It's only stealing if they find out. <laughs> See how Blanche is doing on the phones. Blanche? <laughs> oh, nothing here, Rose. Back to you. <laughs> oh, wait. I have a bulletin. The intensity of Hurricane Gill has increased dramatically. Several boats at the marina have been beached or capsized. Oh, and here's an item of particular. <laughs> oh, and there's Lucas. So handsome, so strong, and he's right here with me. Lucas, you can probably hear every word I'm thinking. Yes, Dorothy, I can. <laughs> now it's a celebration. <laughs> A retirement account that's about four thousand. Okay, I can borrow on my life insurance. That should bring us close, huh? Then it's settled. We're gonna call Sid and tell him to go ahead with a new roof. Okay. Oh, oh Ma, you will not believe. <laughs> then this morning I woke up and I was in the shower shampooing my hair and I heard humming. Well, I thought there was someone in there with me. No, it was me. I was humming, and humming means I'm feeling good. And then I realized I was feeling good because of you. You made the difference. Tell on the beach. Doesn't that sound like fun? I get to go with you? I don't have to stay here and get gassed with the termites? <laughs> oh, Dorothy, you're such a good daughter. <laughs> She'll get over it. And if she doesn't, who cares? We're going to meet her! <laughs> a square. A statue. Oh, my. Is it going to be a big one? Hey, St. Olaf license plates don't say big statue country for nothing. <laughs> well, all right, that does it. You're all my witnesses. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. I don't want to make a fuss. Well, then call in Ricky Moss and let him make your fuss for you right there on television. you got to stand up for your rights, Rose. All right, maybe I'll call. Rose? Well, I just feel overwhelmed. How could this have happened? Charlie and I were so careful with our money. We saved, we never... That was a lovely lunch, Blanche. A lovely lunch in a lovely house with your lovely friends. Stop making fun of me, Virginia. Making fun of you, honey. I was complimenting you. I heard the way you said lovely. How did I say lovely? Oh, you know very well how you said lovely. You said lovely the same... We think that Kate may be pregnant. Wow. That's incredible. That makes me... Hey, yeah, some things never change. 
You're gonna be a granddaddy, Stanley. <laughs> wow, isn't life a guess? This is amazing. <laughs> Um, I feel like I've known him all my life. I talked to him about Charlie. I talked to him about St. Olaf. I talked to him about my family. I talked to him about my animal friends. I talked to him about life on the farm. If that man didn't get a medal in the war, he sure as hell deserves one now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did she just... Uh -oh. What is it? What's going on? You're not going to believe this, Sophia, but... Uh, God? Sophia? Sophia? God. Wow, now I see where Jesus got those eyes. <laughs> Shh, he's talking. Yeah, yes. Well, she can't help it. Blanche needs a man. She told me when George died, she made a date at the funeral. Well, not that she wouldn't love George. She can't be without a man. You know what I'm saying? Where is it? Where is he? It's Dr. Bird, the neurologist I saw in New York, the one who told me I was just getting old and to go see a psychiatrist. Dorothy, don't make a scene. Order without me. Doc can afford to buy a house? What do we have for collateral? A gay cook? <laughs> Rose, nobody is getting married. Now let's go talk to Blanche. Dorothy, we'll become bad ladies. <laughs> Blanche, come here. <laughs> oh, girls, I'm devastated. Just devastated. Honey, what happened? I asked my teacher for help like you all told me to. He said the only way I would get an A on his final is if I sleep with him. No. Oh, yes. I just don't know what to do. Get it right. It's like it's on fire. Boy, you really caught a nasty bug. Please, I'm 84 years old. I feel like this every day. <laughs> Never fear, Dr. Rose is here. I made you both an old-fashioned St. Olaf tonic. Guaranteed to get you back on your feet and put hair on your chest. <laughs> That's the one nasty side. <laughs> Don't worry, Dorothy. The, the reunion will get your mind off of it. The people should be coming in a couple of hours. The party, the party. I totally forgot there was no way I could face those people. Oh, honey, of course you can. You are all friends of Trudy's. You can consult. Ladies, drinks, champagne. The best you have. Mm, Dorothy, that's so expensive. Shut up, Rose. <laughs> This is my treat. It is a celebration. What are we celebrating? My daughter found out. Oh, I'm going to miss you very much. Oh, I'm going to miss you too, Mom. Are you sure you won't let me drive you to the airport? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> Dorothy, Sophia, thank you for having me. Don't thank me. Thank my grandson. <laughs> what about? In Sicily, Florida, bed is a treat. <laughs> At least half your family is on vacation. <laughs> I slept with my two brothers until I was 17. I was engaged to one for a very short period of time. <laughs> but that's a separate story. She's 125. <laughs> you can't pry the yogurt out of her hands. Uh, I'll get the papers from my office. Okay, Sophia, let's go. Go where? That's not Lillian. <laughs> you said you were Lillian. You think I'm in here? And going out with Julio Iglesias, no one's gonna see us. <laughs> Once we hit Wolfie's Deli, I would appreciate it if you could serenade me with Begin the Begin. Ask you if you see another man, just... Just tweak his nose and say, My master, I do believe you're jealous. What about the vapors, Blanche? Shouldn't she be overcome by the vapors? Blanche, can I come out now? Oh, yeah, hold it just a minute. Go to the hospital. Well, Sophia, you ought to at least see a doctor, honey. The doctor's coming. What doctor? He's a friend of mine. We're going to the hospital. 
Dorothy, this guy is good. He's probably the most learned, respected, important neurologist in the state of Florida. How'd you ever meet a man like that? <laughs> we were judges at a wet t-shirt contest. Favor, uh, I want to get a part-time job, and I was wondering if you could watch the kids two days a week. Stan lost his job. I told you that yutz is a deadbeat. <laughs> Stan did not lose his job. His job he could afford to lose, a novelty salesman. The novelty would be if he made a sale. <laughs> Don't listen to When I hear her coming, I hide. <laughs> Gotta go. Morning, Ma. Good morning, Pussycat. Um, hey, Johnny, are you okay? Never better, Ma. I just never seen you do anything domestic. Baby, I don't know. Someone was supposed to pick me up an hour ago. I can't figure out what's taking them so long. Ma, when are you going to stop? Now, look, you're not going anywhere. So why don't you just put down your suitcase and you and I'll go off and see a movie. You go to a movie. In a few hours, I'll be basking on a beautiful white beach, trying to keep the sand out of my wrinkles. What relationship can it be? Sounds to me like you've already made up your mind. I guess I have. Yeah, I just didn't know it until just now. Oh, I wish there was some gentle way to tell him. Oh, take it from me, honey. There is no gentle way to end it with a man. When you're gentle, what's time? Lord, it's been ages since I heard that from a man. <laughs> yes, it is my first time. I can give you a few pointers if you like. <laughs> Here it is, I found it. You found what? The lens, which I'm now going to rinse out in the solution that we have too much of. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I made up that ridiculous explanation, hoping I'd run into you. So you live here too? No. Oh, no, I hate waiting. I hate hospitals. I hate when the people put each other down on love connection. <laughs> Dorothy, I got here as fast as I could. Stan, how'd you know where to find us? Well, I had second thoughts about the price of the ring the girl... <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's you. Look, Blanche, we have to talk. I don't believe I have anything to say to you, Dorothy. Then let me do the talking. Elliot was just here, and he... I'm sorry, am I interrupting? Not at all. Rose and I were just about to go and see if we can fit into our bathing suits yet. Blanche says we might have better luck if we sprayed our fannies with Pam. <laughs> I'd forgotten how. Please. Oh, no, the whole experience was too painful. Please. We just want to put it out of our minds. Please. Hit it, Rose. <laughs> to say what I feel Miami has so much appeal I'm quite fond of you I'm fond of you too cut off their right arm to sleep with me. <laughs> I agree with Dorothy. I don't think you'd even still be dating Fidel if another woman wasn't interested in him. Girls, look, I know it seems strange, but I happen to have strong feelings for Fidel. I can't explain it. Some things in life defy explanation. Yeah, but what does one wear to a sperm bank? <laughs> Something attractive and rubber. <laughs> That. That's how I'd feel. Mm, I remember the first time anybody ever called me a widow. I was terribly lonely and depressed. 
just missing George something awful. Finally, my best friend, Rebecca Sue Bliss, persuaded me to join her for a night out. Well, we no sooner stepped through the door into the boots and saddle grill than these two big brawny truckers came over and off Go with me off this plane. <laughs> What was that? Oh, that was them shutting the door. They shut the door? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Candy. I'll be your flight hostess. <laughs> Please review the information cards in your... I'm sorry, am I interrupting? Not at all. Rose and I were just about to go and see if we can fit into our bathing suits yet. Glenn says we might have better luck if we sprayed our fannies with Pam. <laughs> I'd forgotten how. I think much of the credit goes to the food. It's original yet familiar, piquant yet comforting. Blanche tells me she worked very closely with the caterer. <laughs> Did she tell you they were naked most of the time? <laughs> You'll have to excuse my mother. She was a witness to the Hindenburg disaster. <laughs> now, right now. <laughs> look, Ma, it's important to be accurate. Now look at the box. Hey, Pussycat, it says here from ages 8 to 80. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Come on, Ma. Hi, <laughs> Dorothy. Sophia? You kids have fun tonight? Oh, did we ever. There's this so... I killed her. I might just as well have shot her with a gun. Oh. Honey, the woman was 83. She had a heart attack. It was just a coincidence. Now, you haven't slept for two nights. You have to stop torturing yourself. I guess you're right. Well, Rose, honey, you can't sleep again. No. Oh, Rose, you have to put this terrible thing behind. <laughs> well? Well, what? After my boom comes your boom, and then yours until we're all booming. <laughs> How complicated is that herring thing? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Standing on the balcony of the Von Trapp home, listening to artillery shells bursting in the distance, and and you come running on from upstage, okay? Okay. You ready? Yes. The Nazis are coming! The Nazis are coming! Everybody, <laughs> grab a gun and go to the basement. Come on. <laughs> Rose, how could you do that? Don't you know what's going to happen? This is going to end up in all the tabloids. I can see it now, right next to Woman Gives Birth to Doc Severinsen Lookalike. <laughs> Dorothy's Bornack meets Spaceman. Um, why do you get all the credit? Girls! Oh. oh. To Connecticut. How do I know where it goes? <laughs> With me, the minute it goes in my mouth, I balloon up. I can go out to dinner, and in the middle of the meal, my pants are cutting off my circulation so bad my feet are turning blue. <laughs> well, I just want to be svelte for Barry. <laughs> Barry Glick is very important. Eve, what a terrible day we've been having. What are you telling me for? You think I'm hiding Father Flanagan under here? <laughs> got my own problems. What's wrong, Ma? Today was the worst day I've ever had at a hospital, not counting the unfortunate mistake Dr. Feldman made during my gallbladder surgery. Uh -oh. Falling in love, I haven't felt this way since your father. But Tony looks at me as a friend, as a companion. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but I'm picturing him naked and I'm not laughing. <laughs> if you want my advice, I think you should sleep with him. Done! <laughs> that is no... Just hit that music girl and follow my lead. Look into my eyes. Magnificent. I fear you're not making any sense. Excuse me, Mrs. Kierkegaard, it's 4 a.m. Ma, is there a point to this? And if there wasn't, what are you going to do? Put decorative bars on my window? Yes, there is a point. If you're going to sell real estate, make sure you own it. Sophia, I do own it. There's only one problem with your plan, pussycat. One of us is going to get the gift from Rose. Oh. <laughs>
Dorothy, she's right, and you know how hard it is pretending to like Rose's gifts. Uh uh. Forget it. No way. Oh, come on. Now, Blanche, don't be so childish. I mean, we each stand and. Head and cancel. Oh, Blanche, you can. Well, but it didn't fail. He should have told me he was disabled. Yeah, what a great icebreaker. <laughs> Well, if I have to go, you know what I could do? I could take a chaperone. That way I'll avoid any awkward situations. Dorothy, you could be... <laughs> he just knows there's somebody I can't see anymore. Oh, Carl is quite a guy. Lately I've been dreaming about him at night. <laughs> Not Miles. Although I do have one dream that both Carl and Miles are in. <laughs> oh... It sounds so natural, doesn't it? Well, then I guess till next Tuesday, we are Kid Pepe's managers. <laughs> what happens after Tuesday? We take our winnings and buy a heavyweight. <laughs> okay, a middleweight and a microwave. Ma, forget it. This insanity. Yeah. Figured after 38 years, you deserve something major. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but... You've always stuck by me when it really counted. I'll always love you for that, Doris. Oh, thank you, fucking Stanley. Stanley, what are all these deductions for a core bag of fries with that ranch house burger? <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't trip naturally off my tongue. <laughs> Sophia, they took half your day's pages for that? This manager is a shark. He's bucking for supervisor. He told Mildred and Edna they could only take 10-minute bathroom break. Oh, yes, and I hope it makes her feel better. I've been worried about her. I mean, ever since she got those flowers from Mel Bushman, she hasn't been herself. Well, I'm off to the rusty anchor. <laughs> Spring break comes but once a year. Blanche, how did it go with the accountants? Oh, just fine. Hey, while I was in the waiting room, I was reading a magazine that listed the ten richest men in America. You know, Merv Griffin's moved up a couple of notches. He probably ate the two guys ahead of him. <laughs> anyway, I got good news from my accountant. I'm being audited Tuesday. Oh, look. <laughs> I want to be loved by you alone. Good night. <laughs> Set it up again, Rose. Rose, honey, how about a piece of bun cake? Oh, huh? No, thanks. No. I'll try some, Dorothy. Try some, right? Like it's some big experiment. Like you got no idea what it tastes like. <laughs> I wondered where they moved the party to. <laughs> what is it? This is the ladies' room. This is where ladies go to the bathroom. Wow! How do you lift this baby up? <laughs> Isaac, later, later. I guess you have to stand back when you flush this thing. <laughs> back it right now, but you did the right thing by telling Dorothy about Elliot. What about Elliot? He made a pass at me. Well, he's seeing my Dorothy? Yes. I can't believe it. My daughter is finally dating a doctor. He turns out to be a scuzz bucket. <laughs> Why does everything happen to me? Like limousines, please. Oh, you little devils, you. Wait a minute. Honey, are you sure you don't want to join us? You got a marzipan bar in your ear? I told you. I've got a date with... You know who. Mom, we love you. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. You fell for it. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I can have another Diet Coke? <laughs> of course you can, darling. <laughs> Oh, she's even more charming than you said, Blanche. <laughs> Matter of fact, where? <laughs> you. Listen, uh, Ted, I, I hate to <laughs> interrupt. <laughs> what was all that sweet talk about your having a crush on me? Well, I, I did, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, but what about last night? <laughs> you know, you told me that I'm your favorite. Please. What favorite? Are you kidding? 
I thought I was dying. <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> Uh, aren't they the greatest? Yes. Looks like I've been a good influence on them. Excuse me, ladies. I need to inspect your bag. I thought you'd tell them that we uh, went up to Lover's Lane and uh, that we necked. Oh, well, then I... I'd have to smear my lipstick, you know, for effect. Here, let me. Complaint so far. <laughs> Did you know that Gerald is afraid of clowns? Or that he can't go to the bathroom except at home? Oh, so that's why there's that look on his face right before they get to the weather. Just leave my dumpling alone, understand? I'll go. Honey, you know what you should do? Sit down, write down everything that you like about Blanche. Honey, if you care for someone, it's important to remember why they're in your life. I guess you're right. I guess I was pretty hard on her. I can't believe I made... <laughs> Ma, that's a microwave. <laughs> I know, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. <laughs> Oh, Ma, I thought you'd be happy for me. I mean, Stan has changed. He's made a commitment. He's matured. Sophia, he put the ring in a potato. My best friend, Lisa Jane Beadler, fixed me up with the most beautiful boy I'd ever laid my eyes on. Oh, George. No, this was Richard J. Wilde. And believe me, his name said it all. <laughs> we must have pulled over on the side of the road five times on our way to that Christmas dance. <laughs> it's always best to drive defensively over the holidays. <laughs> the kids leave and our husbands die. Is that some kind of a test? You don't work that hard. You don't, you don't go through everything you go through to be left alone. We are alone, Dorothy. We really are. Our families are gone, and we're alone. Harold, my God, where are you? Jail? Well, they only allow you one phone call, and you called me? What? Well, I'm wearing a green silk pantsuit. <laughs> Underneath? Seven years I've been nominated for the Volunteer Vanguard Award. In seven years, I've had to watch Agnes Bradshaw snatch it away from me. Well, she's not going to do that this year. <laughs> this year, I'm finally going to beat her. I'm going to win. Why? Because you worked harder than Agnes? Because she's dead. <laughs> yep. Some dirty movies. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Me too. I think I'll call it a night. Dorothy, do you really think you ought to sleep in the same bed as Sophia? You could get that cold. You know, you're right, Blanche. Ma, you sleep in your own room. Jean can sleep in my room tonight. You're letting a sick old woman sleep in her own bed? With her own pillow? If you need to know anything else about me, um, I have pictures. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> now, our records show that you come from a town called St. Olaf. You want to tell me about it? Mrs. Madeline, are you all right? It's just that nobody's ever asked. For the world. Did you get a chance to read any of the book? Every word. Well, what did you think? Well, I should have known I couldn't trust you. That all that let's be sister stuff was just a bunch of bull. You had no right to use my life for your book. To twist facts so that beautiful, sacred love became so much tawdry twist. <laughs> Dorothy and Lucas may not want you around. Say, there's a fly in the Metamucil. Well, Dorothy, it was very sweet of you to join me tonight. Am I safe in assuming that your first hardware convention is also your last? <laughs> Does that letter to Rose? You what? <laughs> I wrote that letter myself. I made up a name and I answered Rose's ad. <laughs> Blanche, how could you? She thinks someone took an interest in her. Well, someone did, me. 
<laughs> but what if she expects another letter from this guy? What if she decides... Nice to meet you, too. Dorothy's done nothing but talk about you for weeks. Rose. <laughs> Every time she mentions your name, she practically glows. Rose. <laughs> I think she's really very smitten with you. Rose. <laughs> He's a priest, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> my sister to sing for free in his piano bar. You mean your sister Virginia? No, I mean my sister Miss Susan Anton. <laughs> Blanche, how could you tell such a lie? He didn't believe me for a minute. He told me I was much too attractive to be related to her. <laughs> but he gave us the room anyhow because he said he liked my moxie. I've decided what to do about Stan. I mean, how can I just forget all the time that we had together? And then how can I forget the, the pain and the hatred that I felt when he left me? I, I can never trust him again. And if, if you can't trust your husband, then what kind of a relationship? Yeah, we were wealthy. Most people didn't have a bridge to live under. <laughs> well, isn't that a shame? We won't be able to go. Why not? You three have a pressing engagement with a cheesecake? <laughs> There's money involved here. You know what, girls? She's right. Now, we could catch the red eye. We could be in a hot... Right. Dorothy, let me tell you a story. Picture it. Sicily, 1922. A young military officer stationed far from home. He wanders the street seeking a friendly face and a glass of Chianti. Finally, he happens into a dusty little cafe... Away. <laughs> Every day of my life. <laughs> Still you don't believe that Grammy's here, that she talks to me. Of course I do, sweetheart. Blanche, this is your Grammy. <laughs> Yo, get yourself out of here, you dumb peck of wood. <laughs> Ooh, I used to do bird imitations. Oh, what's wrong with that? Well, let's just say you didn't want to park your car under their oak tree. <laughs> Ingmar was different. His mother used to say... They won't bend for accidents. Isn't that fascinating, Bill? So, Bill, what's on sale? Breast pumps. What else? Afro sheen. Moving on. Preparation H. Hot damn. <laughs> Blanche. Blanche, if I thought for a second that there was anything between you and Ted, I never would have done what I did. What did you do, Dorothy? <laughs> she spent the night with Ted. But Ted was your date, Blanche. Dorothy, you must have slept with him. <laughs> Geek is more like, you know, somebody with no friends, stays home every Saturday night, knows always buried in a book. One word out of you and I cut off your supply of Metamucil. <laughs> Look, Kevin, the reason you're in this trouble was bed check she was famous for. Well, I tried to handle the whole thing like a lady. I waved politely over Bobby Joe's shoulder with my foot. <laughs> she was unmoved. Even entertain the notion that he's slipping away because he's, he's homesick for this godforsaken place. <laughs> going on? I think he recognizes the picture of Uncle Hingleblatter's farm. Oh my God! But he is homesick! I'm a murderer! I, I'm Especially since no matter how old we get, I'll always be the youngest and the prettiest and by far the most desirable. You know, once again, she had me in her corner right up until the end. What are you laughing at? I'm sorry, I thought you said I'm Mothra. Giant radioactive insect. Wee, wee, wee! I didn't, Ma. Too bad, it was a good impression. Ma, 
come on, Dorothy, I'm kidding. I read that flyer you brought home. Patient, the rush of adrenaline, the unspecified duration of the game. And you should hear the cheers coming from Blanche's room on Old Timer's Day. It's nice meeting you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Now, wait a minute. And sacrificial dagger. That could prove to be significant. Undoubtedly, the weapon used to kill Mrs. Forsyth. But obviously, her husband was shot. <laughs> then there must be a gun. South side? Well, Dorothy, I guess we're sleeping together tonight. Ma, I have a better idea. In my suitcase, there are two tickets to Aruba. <gasps> I think Stan owes us a little vacation, don't huh? you? Oh, 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 Aruba! I love Aruba! <laughs> Where's Aruba? <laughs> Dorothy, is this a good champagne? Gee, it's hard to tell. The two for seven dollars sticker is covering the year of the family. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorothy, but the welcoming committee is on a budget. Now hurry up and finish arranging those flowers. Mr. Vaughn's going to be around. Or what? Or what? <laughs> Happily. Happily. Damn. <laughs> Boy, what a relief. You're telling me I thought I was a goner. Loki? <laughs> Once upon a time in the magical land of Fluffusenhaven. <laughs> lived Tunder the Mediocre Tiger. He was called Mediocre. She has a great experience, but your mother is a nut. Ma, I never said that. Then why won't you talk to me about the white light? It scares me, all right? It makes me feel like you're embracing death, and I don't want to see that. I want you to rail against it, Ma. I said I wasn't scared of dying anymore. I didn't say I was ready to die. Little strangers, it's disgusting. It's sickening. It's terrible. yoo <laughs> Blanche, would you please get away from that window for two seconds? Come here a minute. I want you to see this guy playing volleyball. Blanche, will you stop acting like a teenager? You have seen naked men before. What is the big deal? Woo. Way. Otherwise, it'll just end up coming between the three of us. So now tell us, which one of us is it going to be? Dorothy here, a rose, or a woman whose breasts you once described as perfect champagne glass-sized orbs of dancing loveliness? Blanche, I did not say that. This kills me. You try it. <laughs> no, I will not. And I don't think you ought to be talking to him like that either. He's practically your daughter's boyfriend. What are you talking about? They hate each other. They fight all the time. Very passionate fights. Oh, it has all the signs of a classic love-hate relationship. And your high school ring, class, and <laughs> give me that. <laughs> oh, Blanche, it's good to see you back to your old self again. But don't forget the doctor said nothing too strenuous for a few days. Then you'll be fine. I am not back to my old self. As a matter of fact, I may never be. What are you talking about, Blanche? Listen, I know this sounds crazy, and if it had... Look, I promise I'll be back in less than an hour. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girls, you know what this cheesecake is missing? Uh, chocolate syrup. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he has any. I'll go look in the back. heaven's sake, go on. <laughs> no, Dave, I better do this by myself. You might come softly. Morning, everyone. Oh, that Rose Nyland? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm Olga Nordstrom. I'm Dorothy, what happened? Tell me, what did he say? Nothing. He said exactly what everyone else did. Oh, no! That's terrible! 
Oh, Dorothy, I am so sorry. I thought surely you'd find something so that you'd at least have a name for this thing. Oh, let's not talk about that. Tell me about your day. Oh, forget about my day. He Peter. Fine, okay, if you think that's best. Oh, Ma. So anyway, Dorothy, like I was saying about Grammy's plantation. Which <laughs> I cannot believe you. You said you weren't going to talk about this till later. I know, but Ma almost died. Well, she's got her color back, hadn't she? A bottle of Chanel number five. A perfume of cologne. Cologne. Forget it. I'll introduce you to all of Jeffrey's naval officer friends. Some of them have been at sea for more than six months. <laughs> Just make yourself comfortable. No, that's not very nice. Oh, well, I'm trying to be nice. That's why I didn't say anything. Why don't you all just sit there and get comfortable and I'll make a nice pot of hot coffee. Which I'd like to pour right down his pants. Lunch, how can you let him talk to Becky that way? Dorothy's right. I haven't heard anyone insult someone. <laughs> this cheesecake is delicious. Mm. It's not bad for store boy. Mm. I'd love to have another cup of coffee. I will put on another pot. Oh, good. What's all the rocket? Oh, Martha and the Vandellas are back. <laughs> Ma. It's all right, Dorothy. I've got one of them. We're going to have so much fun. I know where to find the best restaurants, best nightclubs, the best men. Uh, lunch. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that insensitive of me? Maybe you're not ready for men yet. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jean, why don't we put your suitcase in Ma's room? Ma's going to... Oh, you know, you always feel sorry for someone like that. But I wondered, what did she do to get herself into a fix like that? I thought, well, she must be lazy. Or she must be pretty stupid to let something like this happen to her. But the truth is, she's me. It's girls. An equal chance of having our Christmas ruined. <laughs> it's not going to bother me if I get Rose's gift. Dorothy's right. Be a good sport. <laughs> Rose, I have to tell you about Christmas. It is too hot to shop. The stores are mobbed. And there are only two days left. So we've decided... ...ran into a tropical storm, so we had to turn around and come back. And the plane was entirely full of bald men. <laughs> they were all former Mr. Cleans on their way to a reunion in the Bahamas. <laughs> so, tell us about the cooking contest. The competition was fierce. It came down to my muscles, me. <laughs> I didn't hear you get up. I never went to sleep. Uh, now look, Rose, this has to stop. Sanu ti sayla gupri, 
तुझ्या मागे ही दुनिया सारी मी आता माग माग तुझ्या पूजा तुझी गच्ची तुझ्या मागे ही दुनिया सारी मी आता माग माग तुझ्या पूजा तुझी गच्ची वरी कोणीला मधी गापल्या या कया कला मी पळविला हो कोणीला मधी गापल्या या कया कला मी पळविला तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा आता या पिल्लू कर तयारी जायचं आता कश्मीरला आता या पिल्लू कर तयारी जायचं आता कश्मीरला तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा तुला घेऊन शालू बनर सिद्धा जायचं आता आणि मुंडा